Hey everybody, this is Kevin the Cruise Pro, and today we're going to be discussing how to choose the proper cruise line for your demographic. So, just to start, there are four main classes of cruises. Uh, they are contemporary class, premium class, luxury class, and river cruising. So starting with contemporary class, uh, those three are uh, Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, and Carnival Cruise. So um, this would be the best type of cruise to choose if you're a young adult, like let's say 20 to 30, it's sort of like a big party on board. Also if uh, you have children. If you have children, they have tons of activities for children to do. It's a very light uh, and easy experience. Um, also, these will have the best prices as well, with Carnival being the absolute least expensive, followed by Norwegian, followed by Royal Caribbean, in that order. Um, now, if you don't have any kids uh, and you're, let's say, late 30s to late 40s, the best bet would be to go premium class. And those would be Canard Cruises, which these are the big ships that uh, they look like the Titanic is what they look like. Um, but it's it's uh, higher end food. It's more service oriented. You know, you don't have all the water slides and the racetracks. It's a much more adult experience. Uh, celebrity would be the second one to choose from. And finally would be Princess Cruises. You can see the picture. Here you go. People in their 40s. This is the best fit, again, if you're late 30s to late 40s. Um, if you want something a little bit higher than that, let's say you're past your late 40s, you're into your 50s or 60s, uh, and you go to the really high-end uh, hotels, then you want luxury class. Uh, this would be Regent, this would be Seaborn, and this would be Silver Sea, which I did not click on. Let me click on it here. So these are five star across the board. Most of these will have butlers that come in on board. So like if you stay at like the Ritz Carlton, or again, this is an anniversary or birthday, something really special, this is what you want to pick. You want to go luxury class. Um, and then finally is river class cruising. So with all of these other classes of cruises that we were looking at, these are going to go to the main touristy areas. You know, you're going to stay along the shoreline. Uh, you'll visit multiple ports. When you get into river cruising, that's a little different. These are you're going to be taking major rivers that, you know, cut through the heart of the country. And you'll be going down these little rivers past literally thousands of people's uh, farms and, and land. And they'll let you off all along the way, as you can see here in, in these pictures. Uh, it's a deeply immersive experience. Uh, usually this is people, once they've done all these other classes, then they'll jump into the river crass, river uh, river cruising classes. Um, so all of these have something to offer. They're, they're all great. Um, I'll go ahead and leave all of these links in the description below. Feel free, if you have any questions, leave them below and I will go ahead and answer them back for you. Happy cruising.